and you have a debut single out right now called Love You, I Don't, and you currently play Eliza in Hamilton, Chicago. Yeah. Um, so how's that? <laughs> um, I mean, the show is incredible. This is an amazing opportunity, and I love the cast that I work with. I love the be able that the, I got to work with a creative team six weeks in New York. And, you know, we're now, we opened in October and it still feels like we just opened yesterday. Time has gone, gone by so quickly. So what is your favorite part about playing Eliza? I mean, I love her songs, right? She gets like some of the best songs. <laughs> um, but I think the best part that I've never really got to experience before in any acting opportunity or whatever it may be um, is the arc that she really gets to experience. So Hamilton really changes her, and you get to see the development of her character from helpless all the way to who lives, who dies, who tells her story. Um, I also, I think the best, when I first saw the show, I was really intimidated by Eliza, because especially in the 18th century, she is a badass shero. Like, she is the epitome of woman empowerment, especially during that time. So that intimidated me for a little bit, and then I also... But then I took that as, as a real honor and a privilege to be able to portray this woman role uh, in such a positive light. Do you uh, have a favorite song in the show and why? I think it changes all the time. I, I think for the past like couple months, though, it has been Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story, just because that's something that we never really talk about as humans. We never really think about what legacy we will leave and who will be there to tell it. And so I think that really gets me emotional, especially as an only child, like thinking about my family. Um, it, it hits pretty close to home. Do you have any advice for those who are trying to chase their dreams and be on Broadway or be in the showbiz? Uh, I think the biggest thing is to be yourself. I know that's like super cliche and everyone says that, but um, it really is extremely true. Uh, even though, you know, I had been auditioning for 10 years and um, the, once you really find who you are and you never let yourself get in your own way. I think that's the biggest thing is people um, psych themselves out or quit before they've really made their first stride. Like it's a lot of hard work. You have to continue to keep going, um, but you can't, you're the first person to stop you from achieving what you want. So continue to keep going and be yourself in the room. Like for my audition, um, I like fell over a chair and I, I laughed about it. I'm like, well, I'm a klutz. And like, once you just own who you are, then people will know your personality because half the, half of the battle that people want to hire you is that you're good to work with. And so you want to show that you are yourself outside of your talent and your skill. When did you realize that theater is what you wanted to do? You know, I don't know if it's like even specifically theater. I've always wanted to be a singer and an actress. I'm a songwriter and entertainer. Um, I've been singing since I was seven. I started off doing musical theater. I actually took a break for it for a while. I actually was working on my EP and working on getting a record, like all of that type of um, focus and attention. And then I made a very whimsical decision to go to New York and audition for a, a short period of time. And then this ended up happening. If I didn't have the preparation and the, and the work behind it, I would have never gotten it. But it's always being open to different opportunities and not, um, I do think like throwing your marbles up in the air and seeing which one it falls is, is the way that I live my life. Did you have any idols growing up as a child? Yes. Celine Dion, number one. <laughs> uh, Still my idol. She is the only person that I will. I saw. I've seen her twice live, and uh, the first time that I saw her in Vegas before she even started singing, I was bawling. Like I, I'm not like I'm not a person where if I see a celebrity, I'm like, oh my god, blah, blah. but but Celine Dion, she is just everything to me. She's the reason I started singing when I was seven. So what would you do if she happened to come see the show one day? I mean, I would freak out. <laughs> I I don't think she has seen the show, so. She better. I don't even know where she. I don't know where she is right now. But uh, she's. I would freak out. She's just. She is uh, my inspiration, and everything. What goes through your mind during "Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story"? Well, that's a long song, so it's not one thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely a progression. You know, I think in the very beginning, Eliza did so much work in fifty years post Hamilton's death, and. She's trying to get it all in and explain it all, but she only has like three minutes to talk about it. And then I think one of the biggest and the coolest things and, and really the discovery that we see that that Eliza is the Shiro that she is 
Um, Because she keeps saying, who tells our story, who tells our story. And at the very end, she said, who will tell my story. And I think that hits home for me so hard. It's because she finally realized that the work that he did is beyond him. And it's more about changing changing this world for the better, not what he did. It's what we can do. Yeah. And this is finally like I'm taking onus of myself as a woman, as Eliza. Um, so I think it, 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 it definitely is a huge arc in just in that song. If you could play anyone else in Hamilton, who would it be? I would want to play... Well, I say this with a little bit of reservation. Uh, I want to play Aaron Burr because he's uh, it's just like slimy and, and it would be really fun to play that character. And also he gets Wait For It, which is the best song. I, well, so yeah, I say Who Lives It, but like just, I, I guess it teeters between Wait For It and Who Lives It Dies. Um, but also he starts set or he starts, how does a bass, like every single time he says it over, I'm like, I don't think I would be able to memorize him entering with saying the exact same thing, but then different right afterwards. I think that would be really difficult, and I'd probably mess that up. So I say it res- with reservation. If I could, like, have a teleprompter and be Aaron Burr. Then <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any dream roles that are outside of Hamilton? Um, for musical theater, absolutely. I have Maria and West Side Story and Christine and Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, someone um asked on Twitter that she said that she loved your um EP and she's wondering if you were going to make an album out of it. Yeah, so so I dropped my single. We're still in the mastering process of my EP. So I have songs that are almost ready to go. Um so keep on on the lookout. <laughs> That's very exciting. Um okay, one last question. So yeah. we uh talked about how you love Celine Dion. Do you like knowing when a celebrity is seeing the show before or afterwards I like it I like before because I think it, it brings a different type of energy specifically with me not you know it I think everything that happens during your day affects um, that show and so knowing that someone is going to see the show even if it's not a celebrity even knowing that my mom is going to see the show or knowing that my best friend they're very different types of energy but it affects that performance so I think that like that's a part of my day that'll affect the performance. Awesome. Well, thank but you. I don't know about Celine Dion. Maybe <laughs> Celine Dion would be different. Maybe I would be way too nervous. So maybe she would be, I'd like to know after. <laughs> um, okay, well, thank you for doing this interview yeah. with me. Um, and I will make sure to put all of your social media down in the description box below. And cool. so everyone can go and buy your single. Yay. Um, and we hope to talk later. Hopefully, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe after my next single, you can you can do a few on it. Yes. <laughs>